In this video, we are walking through the stages of infection. Now, after this video, you will finally understand what the infection stages are so that you can ace your nursing school exam. I also have a free cheat sheet for you that I can't wait to tell you about, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video and I will let you know where you can snag that. Now hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and let's dive in. There are four main stages of infection, incubation, prodermal, illness, and convalescent stage. Now identifying these stages and recognizing what stage your patient may be in will help you as the nurse or nursing student, predict and plan your patient's future needs. Now it starts with the incubation stage. Now this is where the pathogen has entered the body and before the first symptom is present. It is the behind the scenes time that the pathogen is making its way into the body system and the body's immune system is unaware of what's going on. It's unaware of the intrusion. Now this could be a few days to a few weeks depending on what pathogen it is. It is also dependent on the pathogen if the patient is infectious during this time. Now the next stage is the prodermal stage. Now this is when those first symptoms start and when you start seeing more hallmark symptoms begin. So basically when you are able to start to feel that something is off within the body, but your symptoms aren't specific or severe yet. Now it could be a low grade temperature or feeling slightly more tired than normal, but usually during this time the patient is contagious and is not fully aware with which pathogen they're dealing with. Now the third stage is the actual illness stage. Now this is when the patient has all of the symptoms and they feel really unwell. Now the symptoms will be specific to the type of pathogen and the type of infection, but overall the body has mounted an immune response at this point and has general malaise, fever, unwell feeling is due to that immune response. Now the last stage of infection is the convalescent stage. Now this is when the immediate symptoms of the infection start to decrease and disappear. Now this could happen a few days to a few months depending on the infection. Now the immune system is still working to get that pathogen completely eradicated out of the body, but it is not as acute or kicked into high drive as it was during the illness stage. Now, the patient may also still be contagious during this time, and it's also dependent on the pathogen. And all infections flow through these stages, but it's dependent on the pathogen, the immune response of the body, and the treatment that determines the length and the severity and extent of that infection. Now, it's important to remember that as a nurse, you should be aware and really thinking ahead for the next phase for your patients. If your patient is not doing well and still seems to be early on in the illness or in the prodromal phase, you know that they are going to likely become sicker and will need a higher level of care and closer monitoring. Now, likewise, if your patient has been through the phases and is in that convalescent stage and all of a sudden they start not to do so well, you may have to look at other infections or causes for that change. Now, I know that that was a lot of information all at once for you, but friend, you are doing great. Now be sure to download the free nursing school checklist that we have for you that walks you through my best study tips to help you pass nursing school without all of the stress and overwhelm. Now the link is in the description below for you to check that out. And if you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment below, and let me know that you loved it. Of course, share it with a friend that might need help with the stages of infection as well. And of course, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Now click on one of these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing in school. And as always, my friend, go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll catch you next time on the nursing school show. Take care. Bye-bye.